Hey guys, so somebody left me an interesting comment um, about the Dunning-Kruger effect, which is uh, basically the tendency of people who are on the low end of the performance scale, on the low end of intelligence, <clears throat> to overestimate their capabilities and their intelligence. And um, inversely, people who are uh, higher performers, smarter, tend to underestimate their intelligence and their capabilities. And this is measurable on tests and where this term even came from, the Dunning-Kruger effect, is basically from just a study where um, people were tested and then asked, how do you think you did on this test? And the people that did the worst thought they did better, and the people who did the best thought they did worse. So uh, the question in the comments was basically, you know, why didn't this manifest? If, if people in general have a tendency to um, be skewed in that way, down from you know a high level or up from a low level. How come that doesn't make the smarter people stupider or the uh, dumber people smarter? Um, and my answer to that is simply that you know being delusional about your own uh, abilities, um, for lack of a better word, delusional. Uh, being incorrect about your 3D reality assessment of yourself doesn't produce that outer result. It basically produces your experience. So the people who, um, the people who view themselves as smarter, more capable than they are, are certainly manifesting that into their lives. Um, you know, think about what those people are doing, like for work. Let's say they they overestimate their abilities. They probably are in positions that. Um, they're not quite good enough for. I mean, we've all worked with these people, right? Uh, they they managed to get in there because that's how their reality manifests. And, and while they're in these positions, they're probably not doing a very good job. Everybody around them thinks that they're a, a dumbass and talks about them behind their back and there's your manifestation. There's the world reflecting the reality of that person's uh, life. And <clears throat> same thing with the smarter people, you know, um, if you think you're less capable than you are, you won't go after life experiences that would require you to be more than you are, you know, if you don't believe that you are that thing. And so that's how that's manifesting for those people. Neville Goddard himself says that we, everybody, all men are just manifesting that which they're conscious of. But the question here was, you know, why doesn't, why don't they become smarter, liter uh, literally? Why don't they legitimately become smarter since they think that they are? And uh, the answer to that is because thinking that you are something um, doesn't produce you being that thing. Thinking that you can fly doesn't make you able to fly. Thinking or, you know, believing, um, thinking or believing that you can do something doesn't necessarily uh, mean that you'll be able to do that thing. That's, you know, Neville Goddard was not, and I think this is a big uh, mistake that this community is sort of sick with, this is sort of an illness. Um, people think that you need to deny your 3D reality, the reality of what's happening. They, they, you need to like lose touch with reality in order for something to change. Neville Goddard was quite clear that this has nothing to do with that. Um, this is not a uh, deny what is actually happening in your outer world. It's deny what that means for your manifestation. Deny your senses, deny what you're seeing as being significant. That's it. You don't have to look at something and say, oh, I I see that my, uh, you know, bank balance is zero dollars, but I'm going to, you know, uh, it's it's not, it's not, it's a hundred thousand dollars. It's a hundred thousand dollars. And then if somebody asks you what your bank balance is, you're like, it's a hundred thousand dollars. You don't have to do that. You just have to deny that the fact that your bank balance is zero dollars has any significance whatsoever uh, when it comes to what you're actually capable of getting or what is in process of happening for you. Um, <clears throat> that's it. That's the only denial of the senses that you need to do is uh, interpreting what's happening in your 3D as being significant, um, you know, or counter to what you want to have happen. That's the ignoring of 3D you have to do. You don't have to ignore what's really there. You know, um, that's not what this is about. It just isn't. So just thinking that you're smarter than you are won't make you smarter than you are. Uh, imagining being smarter, imagining uh, <clears throat> having more intelligence, whatever, however you would do that, whatever you would have to imagine to do that. And then persisting with the faith 
that you will go through a bridge of incidents that brings you to the actual reality of that being the case. That's what manifesting is. I, I emphasize that by whacking my engagement ring on my window. I hope that that drove it home for everybody. Um, you have to per assume a quality and then persist in that thing despite what's happening in 3D in order to get it to come about. That doesn't sound to me like what the people in the Dunning-Kruger study were doing. They were just out of touch with what the reality of their situation was in a measurable way. Um, and their lives are, are a reflection of the fact that they think they're smarter than they are, almost, almost certainly. The fact that they think they're smarter than they are, are has almost certainly benefited them. It's almost certainly produced a different uh, outer life effect than it would if they thought they were really dumb. Um, so the law's working perfectly there. No need to worry. Um, but yeah, there is just a lot of nonsense in this category, uh, a lot of nonsense in this niche. Um, the idea that if you just think something that then it is reality, it's just not the case. So I hope that explained it. Um, it seems fairly obvious to me um, from my current vantage point why um, that type of thing doesn't produce any tangible outer measurable uh, increase or decrease in intelligence, like measurable intelligence. That definitely has an effect on those people's lives that is consistent with the law. So have a great day.